I want to talk to you about lenses, in particular lighthouse lenses, called Fresnel lenses. Now in the early days of lighthouses, in the 1600s, they were very, very simple. They were basically a tall building with a fire of coals or wood on the top. And in the 1700s and the 1800s, engineers put an enormous amount of energy making better and better lighthouses. Now imagine this little light is our light from our lighthouse. It's giving out light 360 degrees. And so as you get further away, it's going to look dimmer and dimmer. But they soon discovered that if you put a lens in front of the bulb, then you could concentrate a lot of these rays into a beam. And with it, you can make a searchlight for a lighthouse. So you imagine now if you move the lens around the light, you're going to beam out a searchlight. And you can see that really brightly. Now that's excellent. But of course, on your lighthouse, you might have a really, really big light source. And so therefore, you need a really, really big lens. And that's not only extremely expensive and difficult to make, but it's very, very heavy. And they're also very thick in the middle, where most of the light is passing through. And so it actually absorbs a lot of the light. So the very lens that you're using for your lighthouse is actually absorbing a lot of the, a lot of the light. Now, a French engineer called Fresnel overcame many of these problems with the Fresnel lens, and that's what we're going to come to next. Okay, imagine this is a cross-section of our lens for our lighthouse. You can see the curved surface here. Now, Fresnel realized that the optical properties of the lens was really dependent on this curved surface. You can see it's pretty thick here. But he thought, well, maybe if I could cut off a segment of the lens here and bring it down, I could get rid of most of the thickness of the lens. And I could cut off a segment here and here and bring it down and do this throughout the whole of the lens, cutting off this all-important curved part and bringing it down onto the bottom. You can make a lens with the same optical properties but much thinner. And that's what he did. And you end up with this rather curious looking lens. This is the Fresnel lens. And actually you can see it's exactly what he's done. This part here is the central section of the lens and these other segments go along here. So as you go along the length of the lens you've got exactly the same curvature as with the big lens but as you can see it's much much thinner so it's much lighter and also it doesn't absorb the light nearly so much so you're going to end up with a much brighter beam of light produced by this beautiful lens. I can prove to you it has the same optical properties as the big lens using a laser pointer. So we can show that this is acting as a lens with the laser pointer. 
if I turn the laser pointer on, you can see that it's beaming straight through the glass here. But as they go up and down the lens, you can see that the rays are being bent, being bent to the same sort of point, the focus. So this is the action of a normal lens, which shows up quite clearly with the laser pointer. Now we can swap this for the Fresnel lens, and so hopefully if this is working properly, it should produce exactly the same effect. Again, if we fire the laser pointer through the middle, the, the rays go straight through. But at different angles, you can see that all the rays have been basically focused to the same point, the focus point, just like with the... Uh, the standard lens. Now there is some distortion you can see when it goes into the next segment here. You get a bit of distortion. So you, want, you wouldn't want to use these lens in a camera for example because you'd end up with a distorted image. But if you just want to beam out a very strong beam of light from a lighthouse you can see that the Fresnel lens is a very good approximation to the full-size lens. In fact it's better really because it's so thin it absorbs far less light so you get a very, very nice bright beam on your lighthouse. Okay, so this is a cross-section of a Fresnel lens. Of course, the real thing would be three-dimensional. It would be a round lens. And so we'd have a round centre with rings going around it. These are called the Fresnel zones. So you have this very beautiful lens. Now you can see here a little movie. This is from the second highest lighthouse in France. It's 365 steps to the top. And you can see a pair of these Fresnel lenses. And each of these has a bulb inside. And uh, when the weather's really bad, they use both of these. But usually they just use one to sweep out the lighthouse beam, which can go 30 or 40 kilometers. So this is the beautiful Fresnel lens system.